Okay, so what you guys see in my head right now is actually a head full of yarn wraps, yarn dreads, faux locks, whatever you want to call it. Um, I put these on over my locks and I'm going to show you guys how I do it, but um, what I will going to say, what I am going to say basically about it right now is that it is very, very, very heavy at this point because honestly I don't even know how many locks I have in my head, but I'm sure it's far too many to be doing this kind of hairstyle. But I just wanted to have something that was lock like locks, but actually a lot, um, you know, longer than what my hair actually is. So I decided to go for this style, but it just took me forever. Let me tell y'all, I've been working on this hairstyle since Saturday morning-ish. 11 something and I you know I've been doing stuff I've been having to work and do all the other stuff come Monday Tuesday and today is um, Wednesday but technically Thursday because it's after midnight so yeah and I was trying to get this done but it just seemed like I had lock after lock after lock after lock so what this is right here is yarn that I braid over my dreadlock. Um, I think next time if I do my hair, I'm probably going to just do the braids, the yarn braids and not the full yarn wraps. Because this is a lot right now and I think that I'm probably just going to um, end up not wearing this for very long or I'm going to try to figure out how I can lighten, lighten it up. Like I might try to boil it and I know that's going to make it heavier at first but I'm thinking that it might it, make it lighter later. And it's just a lot. I don't even know how I'm going to get this all into one ponytail. Like, I'm going to need something for that because this is, like, a lot. Okay, but anyways, so you would take your lock. I already have this braided, and I'm so ready to get this done, so I'm not going to take this out. Sorry, but I mean, it's not like there's not a million other videos on how to do it. So, I mean, yeah. But you're going to take your lock, and you're going to braid it. I use three pieces of yarn. Next time, I probably won't braid. I probably, if I choose to do this again, because this took me like forever today, and I got really irritated and didn't want to keep doing it. So, but yeah, if I do choose to do it again, I'm probably not going to braid. I'm probably just going to start wrapping from top to bottom because I think that's what made them, you know, thick and they, and like they're not even really thick like that for real. But they're just a lot, so it makes it seem like it's extra thick. Anyways, and then I take two more pieces of yarn. I measured my yarn on my coffee table, because that's the best way I could do it. And my yarn actually came out way longer than what I wanted. So I just um, start wrapping. On there. And then you have a piece down and then you hold that piece and you start wrapping around. Wrap. And basically this is what you do the whole time until you get to the point where you want to stop.
And I'm just pushing it up a little bit to make it a little bit tighter. Okay. And normally, if I had more cut out, but I don't because I'm not going to cut any more yarn just for this one piece. So I'm just using excess yarn. But normally, I would just take two more pieces and add it on, but they'll be longer. Like the, the original size I had in the first place. But this time, I'm just going to take some, some yarn from what I used to cut off at the ends. So when I get to the end, you'll see what I'm talking about you'll have a lot of little pieces of yarn left over if you over measure yours like I did or even without over measuring it because at some point you're going to have to tie it and burn it. What you don't want to do is you don't want to do it too tight at your root. I made that mistake before doing, trying to do faux locks with canacolon and all that. For some reason, because I've did the yarn ones before when I didn't have locks, but for some reason when I did that with the with the synthetic hair, it was way harder for me than this. So I was confused. But yeah, you want to just doing this. I'm really tempted to make this way shorter than the rest, but um, it's the last one, so let me be consistent. And then one thing that I do different that I haven't seen people do from YouTube videos yet, or I just haven't got to them, please believe if I do any hairstyle, it doesn't matter if I know how to do it or not, I just go to YouTube and watch a whole bunch of videos. It get, like, gets me motivated to do it or something. <laughs> but I take my end pieces now, and I take two out, and then I start wrapping with my end pieces instead of wrapping more pieces of yarn. And that just kind of says, um, thins it out at the bottom. Be or, I mean, that it'd be all one, one uniform shape, which is cool if you want that look. But I wanted to, want to make it a little thinner at the bottom. Because I already have so many on my head. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh no. Uh, I'm done. No, I'm done. Okay, then I split them in half and I tie them in a knot like. And one more time, because I mean, I don't want it to slip out. And two. And I cut it as close as you can cut. And then, if you want, you can leave your end like that. But I like to burn mine, and I kind of like the little color that it gives when you burn it too long, but if you don't burn it for too long, I won't get that brownish color like like that but yeah you can just do this as far up as you want and then just kind of palm roll it and that's it darling that is it honey now I am a lioness That's it. Thanks for watching.